confirm if my screen is visible yes yes great well guys we are going to start with azure firewall same thing firewall also one of the costliest resources and it takes time for deployment i have already deployed a firewall so i'll be explaining the pattern to you i'll be explaining the theory part to you and then we'll we are going to see the one which i have already deployed right do you guys have any doubts any questions on bastion bastion is clear so what about others guys yes no question about yes, bastion okay i'm just waiting someone else is joining then let's start with azure firewall Okay. I see most of you, uh, all of you are back now. So let's get started. Uh, firewall, guys. Uh, one of the interview questions, the difference between NSG and firewall. They definitely ask this. Right? I told you when we were uh, practicing NSG as well, I told you that NSG is a smaller version of firewall. So first, let's get the theory part clear. Definition of firewall, etc. And the differences between NSG and firewall. And then we'll go ahead and see the practical. So what is Azure Firewall? Azure Firewall, it is a managed and one of the costliest service. It is a managed service, by the way. Okay, managed service, mother pass, samaj lo. It is a managed service and one of the costliest service in Azure. I hope this is readable for you. Is it good enough? Can you guys read it? Okay. Yes, so, yes. Azure Firewall, it's one of the costliest services. It is a managed service. You can ignore this part. I've never seen people asking this, so ignore it. Right? It has a HA feature, high availability feature, which can be deployed on multiple zones. Hub and Spoke is a recommended topology. We have already done Hub and Spoke, and I did explain it to you guys with the same example. Right? Why would we use Hub and Spoke if you want to use uh, a, a costly service like Azure Firewall? Then we can use a pattern of hub and spoke or just spoke virtual network is pay up firewall laga do. Okay. All traffic is blocked by default. So this is the first uh, difference you can say. NSG may what is it? Are all traffics blocked in NSG by default? No. No, right? There are six rules inbound and outbound. Some of them internet is accessible, whatever, even if you don't remember, but there are six rules inbound and out outbound here, right? And few of them are uh, available, uh, allowed, few of them are denied. But in in your Azure firewall, everything is blocked by default. So the moment you apply a firewall, everything is blocked. You have to go in individual level, you will have to allow something. RDP allow, kar do, internet allow, kar do, XYZ, ABC, right? This is first difference. Firewall can be attached at VNet level. Where can we attach NSG? On the VNet level or subnet level? Subnet level. Can we attach a, a, a NSG at VNet level? Are you sure? No, we can not VNet level. Sorry. Level. Sorry, subnet on subnet level. level. Subnet, subnet and NIC level. And NIC level. Yes. And where do we attach uh, our firewall? VNet level. So this is second yeah. different. Third different. Do we require any special subnet uh, for NSG? Mm, no no but here for firewall yes we do require the name is azure firewall subnet so now look at this the dedicated subnets they do ask sometimes what do you know about dedicated subnet so kitne dedicated subnet humne pad liye ek humne pada nat three. gateway ek abhi humne dekha tha uh, bastion azure subnet bastion. and this is our firewall subnet so these three dedicated subnets there is one more we are not going to discuss that though but you should know the dedicated subnet. If question comes, what do you know about dedicated subnet? So these are the dedicated subnets. Okay. So firewall can be attached on VNet. And uh, it should have one subnet named Azure Fire, Firewall subnet. Got it? And one firewall can be attached only at one sub VNet. NSG 
we can create one energy and we can assign it to multiple subnets. Is it correct, guys? Is my statement correct? If I tell you that I will create one energy and I'll attach it to five subnets. Can I do that? Yes. Yes. But in, in firewall, you can create one and connect it to only one VNet. Right? If multiple VNets option, why would we go ahead with hub and spoke? Right? हम सब पे एक ही वीनेट बना एक ही फायरवॉल बनाते और मल्टीपल वीनेट पे लगा देते वह हब एंड स्पोक वाला इतना तामझाम हम करें इसलिए रहे बिकॉज़ वी कैन असाइन इट ओनली ऑन वन वीनेट हेंस वी हैव टू मेक शर के सारा ट्रैफिक यहां से जाए ओके अजोर फाइन सो वी रिक्वायर्ड अ सबनेट कॉल अजोर फायरवॉल सबनेट इट कैन बी मैनेज्ड यूजिंग रूल्स देयर आर सम फायरवॉल रूल्स फायरवॉल पॉलिसी राइट we can use it using firewall policy like here also we have rules firewall mein bhi hamare paas rules aur policies hai right uh then we can create rules uh, under rule collection there are three types of rules one is dnat destination network address translation there are three types of rules dnat network rules and application rules so dnat we use it only for inbound traffic जब भी हमको इनबाउंड ट्रैफिक ये करना हो ना वी आर गोइंग टू यूज डी नेट आई शो इट टू यू राइट नेटवर्क रूल्स दिस इज फॉर इनबाउंड एंड आउटबाउंड दोनों ट्रैफिक के लिए एंड देन एप्लीकेशन रूल इट इज फॉर आउटबाउंड ट्रैफिक नाउ आई हैव थरोली एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज इनबाउंड एंड आउटबाउंड ट्रैफिक आई होप यू गाइस हैव नो डाउट इन दैट राइट आई एम एक्सेसिंग अ वेबसाइट ऑन वन ऑफ माय वर्चुअल नेटवर्क फ्रॉम माय लैपटॉप आई एम एक्सेसिंग वन वेबसाइट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ ट्रैफिक इट इज फॉर माय लैपटॉप It is outbound. What kind of traffic it is for my virtual machine where my v y website inbound. is hosted? Inbound, right? So this is clear, guys. What is inbound traffic? What is outbound traffic? Again, like NSG, we have similar method that the lower the number, higher is the weightage, priority number. But the range of priority number here it's different. It is from I think it's thousand, not hundred. We'll check that. It is from thousand to sixty-five thousand. Or hundred, whatever it is, I'll change it here. Got it, guys? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. 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 Okay. So here, a uh, firewall. Let's say this is your VNets, virtual networks. I'm creating one firewall. This is my firewall. Can I attach this firewall to multiple virtual networks? These all are your VNets, guys. Okay, so I'm just naming them all VNets. Only one. And this is my firewall. Can I create one firewall and attach it to all VNet? No, one I firewall cannot. one. Yes. So I'll have to attach it to one of them, and I'll have to what what I'll have to do. I'll have to do the oh, hub and spoke method, so I'll have to make sure that this becomes my spoke, and that is not necessary. Let's say I have very small uh, environment, only fifty machines, a k virtual network, a k subnet. My काम चल रहा है. So there is no requirement of hub and spoke, right? It is not a mandatory thing for firewall to work. Understand that, guys. I can have only one virtual network. उसके अंदर ही सबके सारे subnets बना दो, सब कुछ उसी में कर दो और उसी पे firewall लगा दो. Entirely technically correct, possible. But you will never see a uh, an environment like this. You will minimum say five, ten, इतने virtual networks तो होगे ही, right? So in that time, what will you do? This will become your spoke, and this will be your that will be your hub, not spoke. This will be your hub, and these will be your spoke virtual networks. Got it, guys? Clear है यहाँ तक? Yeah. Yes. Right. Now let's have a look at the firewall. Under firewall, what is threat intelligence and what is forced tunneling? We can skip this. इतना डिटेल में कोई नहीं पूछता है. DDoS, I will explain it to you. Though we are not going to see DDoS practical. So if you want to uh, deploy a firewall, right? There are, again multiple methods. VM के भी ऑप्शन में एक firewall होता है. वहाँ से भी आप कर सकते हो. Or you can simply go to firewalls, create a firewall. Now look at this. The moment you search for firewall, it is not only firewall you are getting. You what are you getting? You are getting a firewall manager. Sir, firewall नहीं दिख रहा इसको आपने. 
फायरवॉल मैनेजर के अंदर क्या क्या आता है अजोर फायर वॉल्स आती है एंड अजोर फायर वॉल पॉलिसीज आती है नाउ इन एन एस जी लेट से इन दिस एन एस जी आई हैव क्रिएटेड टेन मोर रूल्स कैन आई पिक अप दोज रूल्स एज इट इज एंड अप्लाई ऑन सम अनदर एन एस जी इज इट पॉसिबल ये सिक्स रूल्स के अलावा लेट से आई हैव डन मोर रूल्स ठीक है एकदम परफेक्ट एन एस जी बन गया नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई दैट एन एस जी टू सम अनदर वी नेट इज इट पॉसिबल बाय द वे Let, let me write it down. Let me elaborate my question. No. ठीक है, I have V net one. उसमें है sub net one. Here I created an SG one. It had six rules default, and I created sixty more. And I am very happy with this. बहुत ही बढ़िया है. एक एकदम perfect है. ठीक है. I am creating V net two. Here I have sub net two. And I want similar rules. Can I simply pick that N S G and apply it to subnet two? No. No. Why not? Because those rules are or attached to the net subnet level one. No, no. Can I simply attach that sub uh, N S G? Can I attach that N S G to subnet two? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Yeah. I can, right? Now. Let me add one more condition. Can I do it now? No. Got it? Yeah. So I cannot create this energy here. So what I'll have to do? I'll have to create another C energy. So fine. I said I created energy, but can I copy these? Is there any scope that where I can copy these policies or whatever rules I have created? Right in energy, I am calling it rules. It, these are policies as well. Can I copy this because I want the similar concept? यहाँ पर जो मुझको सात rules चाहिए ना वो exactly वैसे ही चाहिए. Fine, I understand because regions are different. I can't use that. ठीक है. अ वो तो firewall में भी नहीं कर सकता मैं. But can I use those rules here? Did you see no. any option where you can export rules, import? We cannot. No. Right? Yeah, we cannot uh, copy or. Right. So you'll have to come here and create. different rules but in firewall what they have done when you search for firewall you don't just see firewall you see firewall manager now what a firewall manager does it handles ignore the spelling mistake guys it handles firewalls let's try putting azure ev everywhere it handles azure firewall and it handles firewall azure firewall policies as a different entity so are azure policy as your firewall policies they are not linked with one firewall here i can create 50 rules and i can assign these rules i can assign this policy with firewall 1 if i want firewall 2 firewall 3 so i don't have to create rules again and again is this clear guys to everyone yes yes Is yes. this concept clear to everyone? Okay. One more feature we have in firewall is parent and child policy. So I have parent policy and I have child policy. Firewall policies, okay? As your firewall policies, I'm talking about. so what i can do here it's i can create one parent policy and in this one parent policy i can have very straight forward five rules because i know these five rules are throughout my organization that youtube should not work facebook should not work youtube facebook whatsapp insta uh, and uh, let's say snapchat these should not work very common policies i have now i can have child policies as per the x uh, department or firewall so let's say here i have firewall 1 for legal department so what i can do now i can create a child policy in this in child policy what am i saying uh in this child policy google should work or let let me give you another example because everything is by default block 
So I'm saying this should work. Instead of not working, I'm saying five rules. YouTube should work, this should work, and all these should work. This is the policy. Though I will never, you will never say such policy. But maybe ho sakta hai koi, uh, right? From that industry, from that particular industry, then the bread and butter is uh, aligned to this. So they want this. Marketing wagera wale log hai. Unko chahiye, YouTube chahiye, Facebook chahiye, wahi par to marketing karenge. Right? So if I have done this policy, now I'm creating a, a legal department, right? And here in the legal department, I want Google also to work. So I've created this policy, a child policy, which says Google should work. So what I can do here while creating this firewall, I can assign this parent policy here. Legal department, I can assign the parent policy. So how will it work? It will take all the rules from not two policies are being applied. Okay, understand guys. It will take the firewall parent policy and child policy. Ye dono ko mila ke ek policy ho jayega. And now this Azure firewall one legal department will be able to access YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Insta, Snap, and Google. Got it? Similarly, if I go ahead in Azure Firewall 2, this is I'm planning for, let's say, HR department. And I'm saying, parent policy should come here. What does it mean? The moment I have applied parent policy, iska kya matlab ho gaya? YouTube what can they access? Of Insta, Snap can I access? Yeah. And I want, yes, I want the child no policy. Com. Yes, I want the child policy as well. Their own child policy. Okay, I'm not using firewall once child policy. I'm creating its own child policy where I'm saying Google should work, but with Google, Nokri should also work. Nokri, Monster, right? Whatever sign. Got it, guys? So now, this VNet, wherever my firewall one is assigned, it will be able to access all these, which is there in the parent policy plus Google. Nokri will not work there. Why? Because everything in firewall is by default blocked unless you allow that. So only Google will work through child policy and only five of these, uh, YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Insta and Snap will work through parents policy. Apart from that, anything else will not work. Got it? Mm. yeah yes yeah. fine so now let's go ahead and check the portal so you can create a firewall like this create it you can create policies as well first okay that there is no uh limitation you can create multiple policies you can create one policy whatever you want to do however you want to do and then you can now let's say this is the firewall policy i've created and i want to assign it to some other vnet as of now, where is it connected, guys? This policy, where is it connected? To it's any of these virtual network? VM one net and VM one yes. VNet. These are the two machines. These are two virtual networks. Uh, sorry, these are two machines where it is connected. By the way, it is not at the machine level. It is at the VNet level. So this is same VNet. It's the same VNet. So it is connected only on one VNet. Now, if I want to use the same policy in other VNet, can I do that? No. Azure. Yes, I can. We can do that. That is the benefit of uh, firewall, Azure firewall. Sorry, policy. It's huh? right. policy. This is just yeah, policy. Yeah, I thought firewall. Firewall, you cannot. Oh, sorry. Firewall, you cannot. Okay, now look at this. This is in East US, and this one is in West US. Let's see if it gives some error. Fail deployment resource fail. Please see. Let's see what is the error. It might have the error that you do not have a firewall over there. Okay, so it doesn't have a firewall over there, and so you will not be able to apply. But yes, if I had a firewall there, you can use the same policy across the region as well. Is that clear to everyone? Not like NAC. Yes. Now let's say if you want to create a firewall. Aapne firewall policy bana li. Let's create a firewall. So you come here. Select the subscription. Select region. Select resource group. Name your firewall. I'm not going to create this firewall by the way. Select the region. It should be same region. Where your machines are. 
availability zone not required basic standard and premium what are the differences between them we can search for it if you want again they might ask they might not ask firewall policy <clears throat> sorry if you are taking basic sku then you can use only basic policies if you are taking standard sku you can use only basic and standard policies if you are taking premium sku you can use premium policies and any of these now look at this i have already created one policy see i'm creating this in uk west and still i can use a policy from east us got it guys yes no maybe yes this is a different error don't don't uh, worry about this rule collection in vm1 policy uh, contains one or more dnat rules it, it's a different thing got it but mm -hmm. you can use the firewall policies here and there and if you want to create a new policy fine you don't use any existing one you can create a use uh, this one virtual network do you want to create a new one or you want to use an existing one if you are using an existing one that should have a subnet by the way, here I don't have any VNet, so we can create a new one. So here you will select your virtual network and it will automatically take the subnet. What subnet will it take? Let's create one. Virtual network, uh, firewall VNet, I'm saying. Look at this. I am creating a virtual network and by default, what is it doing? It is creating a subnet. What kind of subnet it is creating? Yes, guys. Azure Firewall subnet, dedicated mm -hmm. subnet. If you select existing virtual network, it will show you all the virtual networks which you have in e here. As of now, we have taken uh, UK West, so we can't see anything. If you take East US, maybe you'll be able to see. Here it is. Look at this. But it won't work. Why? Because one firewall is already there. Right? And you can you have two firewalls? No, you cannot. So if I take this one, what does it say? Azure firewall cannot be associated from a different resource group. Good. So here we have a, uh, one more limitation. Resource group ka bhi limitation. Hai. Where did we have this? We had this in availability set. This is new learning for me as well because we never tried this most of the time we have kept it in one resource group so look at this azure firewall cannot be used uh, with or from a different resource group so i'll have to make sure that i am in the same resource group and everything is there in the same resource group once you create your uh, virtual network and subnet then you will have to assign a public ip why because your firewall, it will always work on a public IP. Your machines, they will be in the, this one, uh, private IP. Your firewall will always be on the public IP because that will be the face of your network. Sub traffic wahi se okay jayegi. Okay, force tunneling, we are not discussing now. DDoS. Okay, it won't allow me to go next. DDoS. What is DDoS? Uh, DDoS is nothing, guys. It's your first. Let me see if I'm going ahead. Okay, uh, let's add a new rule. It is not allowing me to access that rule. Okay, what is a DDoS? Anyone knows? So I'll quickly explain it. By the way, we are not going to use that. And don't please don't create a DDoS will. Uh, eight entire balance in one hour. A ghante mein hi aapka pura fifteen thousand khatam kar dega DDoS. So don't use it. We are going to disable that. But what is DDoS? DDoS ek tarah ka attack hota hai. It's it's a sort of hacking. Hacking is not always accessing your server. Sometime it is uh, turning down your services with fake traffic. Uh, example, though it has never happened. Just giving you an example for your understanding. On the same day, Amazon and Flipkart they have some sale. Both of them are selling iPhone sixteen. Now Amazon hires someone ki yaar ek kaam karo Flipkart ka server kisi tarah crash karo. So there is a method called DDoS. DDoS what what it does no, not DDoS actually the method DDoS is the breaking system of that. What it does it 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 starts hackers they start sending 
n number of request n number if your server is capable of 1000 request then your these hackers will send 10000 request to that what will happen then what do you think what will happen to your server guys something which is capable enough to handle 1000 requests and i'm sending 10000 requests to that per hour what will happen the crash. Server will crash. crash by default mm -hmm. whatever amazon wanted they have got it flipkart server crash people are now now they are buying from them right so what ddos does ddos is called distributed denial of service so ddos can figure it out that w which is the actual legit traffic and who's trying to do the hacking and it will block all those traffics which are coming from malicious ips or malicious uh, network which is doing trying to uh, bring down the server and it will still it will allow the legit users right so that configuration we are not doing here but that is what your ddos is right you go next and you simply have to create it will take 20 minutes your firewall will be created okay. once your firewall is created this is how it will look this is how it looks in this case you have already decided you don't have to attach anything why because you have already decided a virtual network right like udr here you have already decided attach so it is already decided it is already attached to virtual network vm1 this is the private ip of your uh firewall this is the public ip of your firewall got it guys yes no maybe Yes, yes. Yes, yes. So now whichever machines are there in this virtual network, those are being affected or impacted under firewall. So these are the two machines I have under VNet1, where our firewall is attached. Hai. These are the two machines. So now what is the thumb rule of this? Firewall blocks everything. Firewall blocks everything. Somehow if I take remote to this machine, will I be able to take remote by the way? No. Even if I had a public IP, will I be able to take remote? No. No. Right. So first thing I'll have to do, I'll have to allow the remote. So where can I do that? Can I do that directly on firewall? No. No, we have to create policy. a policy. Right? policy. So I have already created one. Under policy, I told you, see, this is a parent policy. Let's say if I had one parent policy, I can attach it here. In this case, I don't have any. It's okay. Let it be. Rule collection. Here you can multiple rules ko bana kar ek saath collect karke rakh sakte ho. For one client, one rule, etc. Hai. There are three types of rule. DNAT rule, network rules, application rules. DNAT is for inbound. Network is for inbound and outbound. Application is for outbound. So someone taking remote to my machine. What kind of rule it is? What kind of traffic it is? Inbound. Inbound. So I go to inbound. Now, I will go ahead and create a rule. Either I can create a collection or a rule. It's same thing. Collection bus is a group. You can create different files or a folder. Bana ke file rakh lo. So, I'm adding a rule. What am I saying in rule? Collection. Do I want to create any collection? I'm saying yes. I have created one group say, saying a client one. Rule collection ka naam maine VM de, one de rakha hai. These are completely fine. Whatever names you want to give, you can name of the rule whatever name you want to give rdp allow okay naam se kuch nahi hota hai guys yahan tak this is important important part is here source type what is the source in this case who will be the source if i want to take remote of my virtual machine what is the source is my azure virtual machine source or is my laptop my source laptop so i'll have to put my laptop's public ip here or the cider range here if I want any one of you, same rule apply, I'll simply put a star. So now from anywhere the request is coming, this rule apply. Ho destination IP address. Right? Which is the destination IP address? For me, I'm sitting here. I want to take the remote of this machine. This machine doesn't have a public IP address. So what is my destination IP address? I want to take remote here. On sitting on my laptop, I want to take remote to this virtual machine. Will it be my destination address? Can this be my destination address, guys? For me? No. No. You? 
प्राइवेट पब्लिक से प्राइवेट एक्सेस से नहीं हो सकता तो मेरे लिए क्या है डेस्टिनेशन एड्रेस इट विल बी द पब्लिक आईपी हुज पब्लिक आईपी फायरवॉल्स पब्लिक फायरवॉल्स पब्लिक आईपी राइट सो इफ यू इफ यू रिमेंबर आई आई शोड यू दैट व्हेन यू क्रिएटेड अ फायरवॉल अंडर अ फायरवॉल इफ यू गो हियर दो आई हैव ऑलरेडी कॉपीड दैट पब्लिक आईपी इट इज जस्ट शोइंग इट टू यू दिस इज द पब्लिक आईपी ऑफ योर फायरवॉल got it so under dnat the destination source is ip address any ip destination should be your firewalls public ip here it is so this is what i am putting here now protocol this i have already shared with you rdp comes under tcp prot protocol destination ports now what is a destination port if i am doing it here and i am typing the this one and i am using RDP tool. So, what is the port of RDP? RDP tool use हो रहा है मतलब क्या port use हो रहा है? Three three eight three three eight nine. Now, it is translating the address. DNAT का मतलब ही होता है destination network address translation. Now, here the comes your virtual machines and picture. IP address translation type IP address. अब यहाँ पे translate address to. कहाँ पे translate होना चाहिए? This should be your virtual machines. IP address. Two point zero point four. And again, what is the port number at their end? यहाँ पर भी RDP है, वहाँ पर भी RDP है, तो it is three three eight nine. And then you <laughs> save the rule. And once you save the rule, this is how it looks. First rule. Can you see? This is how the rule looks. So now, if I take a remote to this machine, guys, look at this. I am able to take remote. To this machine using firewalls public IP. So today we are we are learning how many methods to uh, take remote to a machine. One was bastion, and here another one is firewall. My machine still doesn't have a public IP, and I'm still able to access my machine using a public IP. How come it is going through firewall? Got it, guys? Yeah. now i have one more machine there could be number n number of machines in uh, one uh, under one vnet what will i do now i can create another rule but normally aisa nahi hota har machine ko publicly available nahi kar deta what will you tell them you connect to this machine and from this machine you connect to other machines using your private ip this is the method actually works got it guys You will not give every machines का access using firewall. आपका requirement क्या था? बस traffic अंदर आते हुए firewall से आ जाए. यहाँ पर आ गए. Now you are connected to this machine. अब आप इसको ऐसे जम server use कर लो and connect to your other machines using private IP. Is this clear, guys? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What about others, guys? Yes. No. Maybe. So, यहाँ पे मतलब बस हम ये करें कि जो फायरवॉल से जो मतलब ये किया था डिवाइस जो हमने क्रिएट किया था तो अगर वहां से मैं डायरेक्टली प्राइवेट आईपी से एक्सेस कर सकता हूँ आरडीपी यस यू कैन बाई वी डिड नॉट क्रिएट एनी डिवाइस यूजिंग फायरवॉल वर्चुअल मशीन मैंने पहले बना रखी थी यू कैन क्रिएट एनी डिवाइस आई कॉन्फिगर्ड द ट्राफिक टू कम ऑन दैट वर्चुअल नेटवर्क ऑन दैट वर्चुअल मशीन यस Yes, and once you are there, so within the same subnet, you can access anything. And if you have VNet pairing, different VNet can be access. Ho jayega. You remember yes. we tried pinging each other. Yes. Ah. Uh. Got it. Still, I am saying that at least two machine can be possible. Then yes, you have the uh, ability to do that. What I will have to do? I'll have to create another rule. Take and select similar things. Whatever name I want to give. यहाँ पर आईपी एड्रेस सोर्स आईपी एड्रेस क्या होगा अगेन स्टार इफ बिकॉज आई एम लुकिंग फॉर एनी जहां से भी ट्रैफिक आ रहा है इट शुड बिहेव इन द सेम मैनर देन डेस्टिनेशन आईपी एड्रेस क्या होगा पब्लिक आईपी ऑफ माय फायरवॉल प्रोटोकॉल थ्री थ्री एट नाइन ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेट आईपी दिस वन हियर इट इज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट टेन डॉट टू डॉट जीरो डॉट फाइव अर्लियर मशीन वॉज फोर दिस इज फाइव Do you think this is a good one or this is going to work? What do you think? If I save this, will it work? Yes, it will work. Uh, not how will yeah. it work? Yes, it will work. 
कहाँ जाएगा वन पे जाएगा या टू पे जाएगा बिकॉज वन के लिए भी तो मैंने सेम सारा सबको सेम दे रखा है राइट सिर्फ ट्रांसलेशन एड्रेस में एक रूल में आई हैव पुट फोर दूसरे रूल में आई हैव पुट फाइव सो वेयर द ट्राफिक विल को और जहाँ मैं अगर आर डी तो किस मशीन का आर होगा और ऐसा मुझको चार मशीन के साथ करना है माना हंड्रेड मशीन के साथ हम नहीं करेंगे बट एटलीस्ट फोर मशीन आई वॉन्ट सो इफ यूर सेंग दिस विल वर्क वेयर द रिक्वेस्ट विल को The request will go to the IP address ten dot two dot zero dot five. And how did you decide that, or how firewall decided that? मुझको तो four पे जाना था, because configuration तो आपने सबको same दे रखा है ना public IP same है, right? दोनों भी thirteen dot sixty eight two two eight and seventy seven RDP. So why did hmm. went to five? I wanted to go to four. Or if went went to four, why it went to four? I wanted to go to five. ट्रांसलेटेड एड्रेस की वजह से क्योंकि मेंशन दो ट्रांसलेटेड एड्रेस में कर दिया हमने कि कहां पे जो रिक्वेस्ट है वो ये होना चाहिए नहीं सॉरी आई गेट यू सॉरी व्हाट वाज दैट ट्रांसलेटेड एड्रेस जहां पे हमने मेंशन किया है आईपी एड्रेस हमारा प्राइवेट आईपी एड्रेस तो इस रीजन की वजह से वो जो है बेसिकली डायरेक्टली उसी आईपी पे जाएगा जहां पे बट देयर इज वन मोर रूल गाइस देयर वाज दिस सिमिलर रूल्स ऑफ फोर भी है ना ट्रांसलेटेड आईपी में लुक एट माय रूल नंबर 1 और अभी मैं जो बना रहा हूँ वो आर दे एग्जैक्टली सेम बस ट्रांसलेटेड आईपी अलग है गाइस वी हैव ओनली टू मिनट्स लेफ्ट इन दिस सेशन आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट यू गाइस टू प्लीज एक्सटेंड फॉर टेन मिनट्स एज सुन एज दिस सेशन एंड्स आई विल रीस्टार्ट जस्ट वेट फॉर टेन मिनट्स आई विल फिनिश इन दिस इन टेन मिनट्स अदरवाइज फायर वॉल विल नॉट बी कवर इन वन सेशन इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इज इट ओके विथ एवरी वन टेन मिनट्स मोर सो वी स्टिल हैव थ्री मिनट्स इन दिस सेशन ओके लेट्स कम बैक टू दिस रूल तो सेम ही है ना मेरा फर्स्ट रूल only translation id address humne dala bhi nahi hai right source to see source i cannot find right sometimes maybe you will yeah. be taking rdp sometimes uh hani will be taking rdp prabhat sunil so i can't define the source so i have said source anything is fine yeah but by the way that's a good idea that's a good thought ke ye sare same set same to nahi aa rahe hoge na maybe this company is hmm. coming from some uh, another public ip address i have two vendors one is coming from some other public ip one is coming from other public ip that's a good yeah. thought yes you can do that See, it is a good thought, but no. In this case, source IP is my same. Hai. Then what? Okay. The source IP address is same, and we have to, and uh, we are not sure that where this uh, this is going to route. Zero point four or zero point five. But I want port. to be sure. Hmm. Destination port. Sorry. Destination port matter करता है. Yes, yes. That is the key. That is the key. So what you can do, destination port को जो है ना थोड़ा सा amend कर दो. Three three eight nine तो common है. If it is coming from RDP, definitely it is three three eight nine. But if I amend that, instead of three three eight nine, what if I put five thousand here? So now let's use the same IP. I'm not creating that rule, guys. I I hope you guys guys can figure it out, right? I have already created rules. I'm just explaining it to you because ये समय बहुत time लगता है rules बनने में. So now if I use the same IP, if I hit enter, where where will it go? By default, कौन सा ये ले रहा है ये port? Five thousand. नहीं by default five thousand क्यों लेगा? Three eight nine. By default three eight nine. This this tool is itself configured for three three eight nine. The moment you are using RDP, three three eight nine के लिए configure. If you want it to take some other rule, then you can do this. This is how you can go ahead. And now if I log into this machine, you will realize this is a different machine. This is my 10. Dot Look at this. This is VM2. I don't even have to log in. Okay, guys. Only 30 seconds are left. Let's quickly stop this session and quickly rejoin. I'm stopping the session now. Okay.